Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Hisna and my student number is 2050 x I'm from the class of 2020. And today I'd like to present the material. It is about uh, non-natural language processing for the course cycle linguistics. Okay, here are the uh, first material, which is about the types of non-literal language. So, in non-literal language comes in several different forms. There are four. The first one is a direct request. So, example like the word, uh, can you open the door? Do you have the time? What you pass the soul? And this is a contrast with direct requests or comments like the word, open the door, tell me the time that's really different and the second one is idioms so example word like dev kick the bucket and also like uh, kathy spilled the beans and the uh, kind of the types of non-literal language number three is metaphors uh, for example like the word susan flew down the street on her bicycle and also the picture was a sleeping pill that's the example of metaphors and the last one is irony and sarcasm, such as when your friend says like, no, that was exciting, after the sleeping picture was said. And now we move to the second material, which is about the standard pragmatic view. So, the standard pragmatic view assumes that computing literal meaning is the core function in language interpretation, according to Clark and Lucy, uh, 1975. And also class Bird 1998, Sally 1979. According to this view, when people hear a metaphoric expression, the first interpretation that the language comprehension system comes up with will be the one that is most closely connected to tangible objects and also the directly perceivable world. If someone says like, uh, that's a real tiger. So this standard pragmatic view says that you will interpret the expression as if it means like that is a true example of a felon predator. Usually, orange brown colored with a um, uh, black strips and also most current range is limited to parts of South Asia and also Eastern Siberia. Of course, normal people will not interpret dates are real as a real tiger tiger uh, in this way. They will uh, like quickly come up with a more sensible interpretation. And now we move to the third material, which is about metaphor. So metaphor allows us to indicate a relationship between two elements. The first element is the topic, and the second element is the vehicle. So the topic is the focus of the composition. It is what the discourse is about on our 20, 19, 1975. When we use a metaphor, such as like, Nikon Kidman is bad medicine. Perhaps we interpret that expression by mentally conflating it to a similar. Uh, the form Nicole Kidman is like a bad medicine. You can say like, uh, Nicole Kidman is a bad medicine, but you can say bad medicine is Nicole Kidman. Some metaphors are reversible, uh, but the meaning of the expression changes when it is reversed. Now we move to the fourth material. It is about embodiment and the interpretation of non-literal language. So Gibbs also argues that embodiment and mental simulation play an important role in metaphor interpretations. This is one is according to Gibbs 2003. And also uh, his friends, Colston, 1995, like Hope and Johnson, 1980. And this conclusion is based on metaphoric expression that call uh, upon our experience with physical bodies and also physical processes that operate on those bodies. For example, uh, like, uh, for example, like, uh, why we talk, uh, the way we talk about emotion frequently evokes the metaphor emotion is liquid in a container. container. In studies, uh, where people are asked us to talk about their emotional experiences. They oftentimes use terms that refer literally to liquids and physical processes. And now the last material it is about the neural basis of non-literal language. So actually neuro ne neuropsychological 
or we can call it ERP, and also neuroimaging, FMRE or PAT, experiments show that different networks of brain's area responds differently to literal and also non-literal language. This is according to Botany et al. 1994. And the studies supplement data from uh, studies of patient, patients with patients with lesions, brain damage, and who may have selective deficits in understanding or producing either literal or non-literal language. And early research on brain damage patients uh, suggested that the white hemisphere of the brain might play a special role in the interpretation of non-literal speech. All right, maybe that's all from me. Thank you for the attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.